What's going on everyone? Here in your viewing pleasure is a Dell and Ron 1545 in all its glory. And I'm going to be talking about this little laptop even though I'm servicing this laptop for, for a family member. But for a step family member, let's just put it that way. Yeah, this is the late 2009 model because this one comes shipped with Windows 7 Home Premium. But these were originally from, originally were like sold around, around mid 2008 to early 2010. Which kind of pretty much replaced the Inspiron 520 and the, I mean the 1520 and the 1525 Inspiron. Which were like the silverish looking laptops. And I noticed how cheaply built these in Dell Inspiron laptops are. If I get in enough light I wanted to show you. If I... You can see I'm just t gently tapping on the screen. Hopefully. Let me get in better lighting here. Cause this camera. I'm gently like touching it one finger and it. And I notice the hinges on these laptop, these Dell laptops are always loose for some odd reason. I've actually serviced four of these Inspiron 1545 laptops. And I notice from everyday use this little part right here kind of it's kind of loose and there is a screw holding it in place it just kind of busted off in there tell so one of the things that hold the screw in is busted off for the uh, palm rest they don't make laptops like they used to and I noticed on some of these inspir on some of these Dell laptops the one of these buttons on the touchpad easily get stuck and you have to change out the entire touchpad. I can tell that Dell easily goes, pr easily can go pretty cheap with their laptops. Like my sister, she had a um, Inspiron 1318 laptop, which had the that the screen bezel come loose and easily break because the plastic on those laptops are so brittle. And her left button right here somewhat got completely stuck. But yeah, that's all I gotta say for now. I was just showing you how cheap, how easy these laptops are to break. Or and how cheaply Dell make their own laptops. And I'm surprised this one doesn't have the uh, COA under the um, laptop on these particular Dells you have to take off the battery and the battery on this one's about on its way out when it popped up on the um when I first logged in and you know, I'm installing some open source programs on it and replacing the um, expired Norton antivirus with Avast But yeah, that's all. I just want to make a video for now, showing you how cheap these Dell laptops are, how they cheap, how cheap they, I mean actually how cheap they, cheaply built they are. Cause I was trying to get the right words. Cause Dell should have done a better job doing something than making something that cheap fall apart. I've seen a compact laptop become be a, a cheap compact laptop from Walmart become more sturdier than an expensive Dell laptop that's used with cheap plastic. So that's all for now and hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know I'm still around and thanks for watching.